What is up guys? This is the Gothic the Kitten and we are amongst the corpses of our enemies. So the last time we killed these guys and we didn't do anything else. So we're just gonna heal up. And we found some notes if I recall correctly. Also we have enough goblin berries and other things to get to the dexterity level that we want. So I think the delivery thing was a thing and Lucia's farewell letter. So we'll read that one first. Dearest Elvridge, I cannot find the words to describe how sorry I am. I know that you will not understand, but I have come to the conclusion that it is better for both of us if you find a more respectable girl than I am. I won't be coming back from where I am going now. Forget me. A wench like me isn't right for an upright fellow like you. Farewell, Lucia. So he just got dumped. Let's see. Uh, what was the other thing? Delivery. Fifteen short swords, twenty rapiers, twenty-five loaves of bread, and fifteen bottles of wine. That was the last time this thing is getting too hot. Fernando. So we finally have the F, and as we suspected, it was the high, well, the respected citizen in the upper quarter of... Nothing to be had there. Ghost light. Okay, fine. In the upper quarter of Corinus that we had already talked to. I don't know if he's the one that was like very double about us, but I don't think so. Was the other dude who's... Oh, no. This is never gonna happen. Bronco! <laughs> Show us your strength, dude. How long did these guys chase you? There's hope. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to confront them is nobody Come here, damn beast. I was gonna say is nobody there's gonna another of those scummy beasts mentioned uh, goblin skeletons I mean it's lost XP but I'm gonna pickle here so I don't really want to mingle in that bigger crowd One last monster around. did he carry something Every branch. Okay, now we're gonna have to heal again. Let's see. We have some fish soup, but that doesn't usually cut it. There we go. Now let's see. So, did that update our quest logs on two of the things? So, the weapons, uh, the bandit's weapon dealer? Found a document that can prove that Fernando is the weapons dealer I'm looking for. Which, in my brain, concludes the quest as soon as we talk to Fatras. And then Lucia. Lucia wrote a farewell letter to Elvridge that should interest him. So, two things that take us back to the city of Corinus. I don't know what the shortest way is, but that was obvious all along. I think it's this way. He really should have known better. I wonder what's on this end. If we look on the map. It's a bad business. No idea, you tell me. It's just all basically the, the same suspect. woods that will kill us. So don't tell me that. Fair enough. His decision was We will not go there. Nobody will learn anything from me. But I do wish to kill those blood the blood flies that are with the lurkers. Just for the sake of XP. And I seem to recall some guys sitting uh, 
on one of the side rows, roads from the dead harpy. Might be interesting to see what they have to say. Okay, you. Oh no, don't attack that guy. You. Okay, perfect. But you too. Now the last one. Uh, that might be too hard. For now. <laughs> oh. Come on, get that little fly. Just like that. Nice. Nothing there. Yeah, no, we haven't learned that yet. There's also something about a portal here, but after last adventure with a portal, I don't know. Last time we took a portal, we ended up in a huge cave with a couple of wolves and an orc. That wasn't that wasn't our best moment. Okay, there's a baby camp and people. One person, Dragomir. Traveling so far from home, out here you have to be careful, especially when you're all by yourself. What are you doing out here? Well, the tavern is too expensive for me. That's why I settled here. The previous inhabitants don't seem to need it anymore. Who used to live in this camp? No idea. Probably some hunters. I suppose it got too dangerous for them out here. Isn't it too dangerous out here? Well, not if you can defend yourself. My crossbow has already proven to be of service many times. It's not all that big. But deadly, if you know how to handle it. I used to have a bigger one. Unfortunately, I lost it. I ventured too far north into the mountains. There's a big stone circle there with a sacrificial altar. While I was hunting scavengers up there, these vile undead beings came out of the woods and attacked me. All I could do was run for my life. While I was running, the crossbow slipped from my hand. I bet it's still lying up there by that strange stone circle in the north. Huh. <laughs> you know, undead, I have not good experiences with undead so far in this game. Can you teach me something? If you can pay. Like I said, at the moment I'm a bit strapped for cash. How much do you want? 150 gold pieces. Nah. Maybe later. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to assume he's the outsider that's going to teach you crossbow skills. We already have a guy, but he will only train you if you're a militia, so... Because this is the option for anybody else. Well, considering this isn't originally your camp, do you mind if I just loot the entire thing? Have some more bolts in case we need it. Just kind of hoping to run across a bow that does more damage than my crossbow at this point. But it does say there's some scavengers too up on that path, so. Oh, nice. We're, we're gonna get heck again from our boss for the cheap skin. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. So it's technically an easy one, but you, you need to know. Spike clutches. Hmm. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right, left. Left, right. For 10 gold. That's fine. Okay, so that created a quest. Yes, Dragomir's crossbow. That he lost further down the path. Before he got attacked by undead things. Trying to eat everyone's faces. Fair enough. How does the map look? He's set up north, but it's not like it's following this entire path, I think. Up north near Sacrificial... But isn't that that um, circle where the goblin skeletons are? I think so. That's ways away from here. But I can't shake the idea that's what he's talking about.
at least some enemies we can take. Okay, healing plants. So this is like a... Oh, that is where we can go to from the side of the road, I guess. When we pass the lake. I don't know if it's a good idea to go further down this road. Isn't this the road we took with Laris though? So there shouldn't be too many enemies left over here. In that case, we'll just go back to Corinna's, finish up those quests, get some dexterity. I don't know what Court still wants from us. I can probably look it up what his requirements are though. Traumatized by the dead harpy. Oh, we still have to do the thing for Greg too, but unless I'm sure we can take on those lurkers, I'm not mingling. Which is why a better bow would be great. Without a too high requirement of the uh, dexterous persuasion. You would think this blood would disappear after a while, but no. Well, actually, no. I, you know, when you read those books or you read those historical scriptures, you often find that blood stains will stay in things forever. Just not that bright red, though. J just a tad less bright. But I'm sure Vatras will be very pleased that we found out. Well, and I feel like technically we also found out who takes the missing people though, but he's gonna be very happy we found out who the weapons dealer was. Even though I'm not 100% sure why he needed to know. And it's to supply the bandits, the same bandits who have been taking the missing people. Or I guess. It's so double. Is it the pirates or the bandits or they're in cahoots, but do the pirates really have that much to do with it or are they just smuggling live goods? I guess it's the latter. Never really heard of pirates being interested in slaves. He can't keep anything to himself. Then again, what do I know? I've never met a pirate in real life. Talks too much. Fatras, we have the most amazing news. Got my own opinion you have that. no idea. Hey! About this weapons dealer. How much do you know about the weapons dealer? Ask Martin, the provisions master of the paladins, about this. He should be able to tell you more. He has been tasked with unmasking the weapons dealer. You can find Martin in the Harbor District. If you see a heap of crates, provision, and paladins, Martin won't be far. Okay, I'm totally confused now. We literally have a note that says it's Fernando <laughs> in our inventory. About those missing people. Yes? Let me tell you what I know. Lucia, the girl that was kidnapped by the bandits, has decided to join them. I think you're on the right track. Just carry on. Maybe we have to go to Fernando ourselves, but that just seems like getting into heaps of trouble. Maybe you can go deliver him to Lord Andre, but I don't know, that seems so unfulfilling considering Vatras is the one asking for the information. I found a letter from you, Lucia. What? Give it here! No! I don't believe this! No! I just can't believe it! She just can't leave me behind like this! Take this letter back! I don't want it! I firmly believe that she's going to come back to me someday! I doubt it. She seemed very convinced that she was happy where she was. It's a bad business. Wherever that is. I knew that would be a problem. 
Everything in this town is a problem, sir. Listen to the wrong people. Okay, so this was not Fernando, right? The guy standing over there might be. Uh, he really should have known better. Yes. Eh. Hmm. Before we say anything. You've been selling weapons to the bandits. But what makes you think that? This list of merchandise that I took from a bandit bears your signature. The swords which the bandits were carrying bore your initials. You can admit it now. I've blown your cover. I didn't mean to do that, believe me. First, all they wanted from me was food supplies. Business was really slow. So I got involved with them. Then they became more aggressive and threatened to kill me if I didn't sell them the swords they wanted. You can't blame me for this. I'm a victim of circumstances. Oh, don't make me weep. You're pretty repulsive for someone who lives in the upper quarter. You'd sell your soul for a fistful of gold pieces. I've got my expenses to cover. If I don't have cash, they're gonna feed me to the mob from the Harbor District. Um, why would we let him go though? Do we still need him? The militia is gonna deal with you. You can't do this. I should say I can. You'll be amazed. Bye, Enos. I'm ruined. Well, at least he doesn't pick a fight with us, but it seems... Can we tell Vatras, or do we first have to get him arrested? Maybe he wants to deal with him. If he now is like, what do you know about the weapons dealer? Ask Martin, the provision master. I'm gonna be like, ugh. Maybe the quest log tells though. Weapons dealer. He admitted to himself that he supplied weapons to the bandits. So that makes that we are for sure. No? About this weapons dealer. Yes, perfect. I know the dealer who's been selling weapons to the bandits. His name is Fernando. Very good. Has Martin taken the necessary steps to stop him from delivering anymore? Not yet. Then make haste and report to him at once. It must be stopped right now. Okay, so he wants us to tell Martin. And not as much Lord Andre. So I guess we're going to Martin and weep over the fact that he's wielding the Master Sword. Because here's the thing. Is it really true? Yes, we're having a hard time getting to the 50 dexterity required to wield the rapier. But the Master Sword is only 10 dexterity more. Find a few more goblin berries, we're literally there. I agree with you completely. Provided I don't use them right now. That's an open secret. So what day? We're still still day 14. Keep Perfect. Keeping an eye on that to get the dexterity up. He can't keep anything. Martin, we have grand news. We have done your entire job for you. Uh, about the weapons dealer? Show me what you have. I found this rapier with the bandits. The letter F is carved on the pommel. This list of deliveries of weapons and other things to the bandits here is signed by a certain Fernando. Besides that, Fernando, the old trader from the upper quarter, has admitted having done business with the bandits. I think that's enough. Fernando then, well, he'll get what's coming to him. <laughs> and he always acts like butter would melt in his mouth. I'll see to it that he's put away until he rots. Sound work, I must say. Vatris will be glad of this good news. So now I have to go talk to Vatris again. Did you guys see that sword? That was obvious. Our sword that we kind of have now. Because we didn't know. <laughs> That's an open secret. No idea. You tell this me. is by far a flawless oh, run. But let's face it. This is an off-the-shelf run. I never said I was good at it. <laughs> We're doing this for the story, people. And because of the enjoyment of playing it. Okay, for the seventh time today, Vatras! We have solved the issue. Can I join? 
the ring of water about this weapons dealer I know the dealer who's been selling weapons to the bandits his name is Fernando very good has Martin taken the necessary steps to stop him from delivering anymore yes Martin will see to it that he won't be leaving the dungeon anytime soon. Well done, son. Does that mean that you're going to let me join the Ring of Water now? That was not what we agreed upon, and you know it. May Adonis light your path. Well, we got set in place real faster. About those missing people. Yes? I don't have any more information compared to it just like five minutes ago, I'm sure. Okay, so that was one quest that we finished. And we told Ulrich about... But this guy... I'm convinced he's in one of those towers, but the only one I can open did not have a person in it. You know? So what we will probably be doing next time Show me your wares is to I guess check out the portal near the tavern because that's something I still know that we should do. Just get that little slight tad of XP more. If we can have five more dexterity. Then we're at 48. I'm willing to eat two goblin berries. And now we can go back to the mercenaries. Question is, how am I going to get that XP? No clue. <laughs> By killing the orc in the cave to the left here. I doubt it. But we're going to call it a day for now. Hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you next time on the Scratching Post.